Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have an Isla Mist bottle here in my cask and this is the Peated Reserve. There is a normal Isla Mist on the market and uh, it's not too long ago that they issued this uh, Peated Reserve and it's a this one is a liter bottle. I have no idea where this bottle came from and uh, 40% ABV and here on the label they say it's a wonderful bottle and there's an engraving in the form so this is uh, coming out uh, wonderful as a sailing boat on it. Isla Mist Peter Reserve blended scotch whiskey so we have uh, malt grain whiskies from Scotland there's no uh, regional uh, saying on this Distilled, blended, and bottled in Scotland, Macduff International, Scotch Whiskey Limited, Macduff International. In the back there is a little story uh, how this whiskey was developed. Isla Mist was created in 1922 in Isla to celebrate the 21st birthday of Lord Margadale. It was thought that the local single malt scotch Lafroic might be too heavy for all the guests. Taste so this rare blend of Lafroic with Speyside malts and grain whiskey was born. Isla Mist Peated reserves the latest addition to the award winning blah blah blah. So they say that this old whiskey was created with Lafroic but I'm not quite sure that this whiskey really contains Lefroic or if this Lefroic is from the old tale because it's in the uh, regulations of the Scotch Whiskey uh, Act um, it is forbidden to tell which whiskies are in a blend. So they say it's a blend, period. So this might be a whiskey called Isla Malt Mist without Isla whiskey in it. I have no idea. Uh, if they use the word Lefroic in the story on the back, I would suggest that if it's not true, that the distillery would have been, well, uh, <laughs> took them to court to, to make things clear. Uh, so there might be Lefroic in it, but I'm not that sure because it's just a tale from 1922. Yeah. So it does not matter which whiskey is in a whiskey, um, but how the whiskey tastes in the end. This is what really counts. This sounds really great. These uh, bulgy tops, they tear the air in the bottle and with a gulp. Very good. <clears throat> a very aromatic, smoky note. <sighs> this might be Isla. Yes. There is this. Sometimes people say it's peaty. No. Every smoky whiskey receives its smokiness from peat. So there's no no sense in saying this whiskey is peaty and this whiskey is smoky. What you really want to say is this whiskey is phenolic, aromatic, medicinal and whatever and the other one is uh, bonfire, uh, light smoke, cold smoke and so on. So this is the to distinguish the different types of smoke not the peaty and the smoky. No. So translate by yourself if, if somebody says this is a peaty whiskey then he means it's phenolic medicinal. So this is a mixture. Half of it is phenolic medicinal and the other half is bonfire. So it's a wonderful smoky note, definitely. And then there's some Mm. some light fruit, fruitiness but the smoke is dominant. 
this whiskey is definitely colored. 99% um, of all blends are colored. So why should this one? So they don't tell about colorless. It's quite a pleasant taste, so there's a lot of grain whiskey in it. You can feel it, uh, the silky grain on your tongue. And then hefty bitterness in the back. Ah, again, those old, old, re, 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 reused casks for the grain whiskey, which deliver this tannins and this bitterness. Mm. So it started so good and ended so bitter. Some caramel, some vanilla. But this bitterness sticks on my tongue. No, so I would suggest this is 90% grain whiskey, 10% malt whiskey, because the there's no maltiness and the typical fruitiness of the uh, malt whiskey stills isn't there. Um, so most of it is grain. There's a little bit of malt and uh, well and then they added 60% of water to it. So it's just 40%. Um, so the malt content might be 5% in that bottle. This is my personal feeling. I don't know how high the, the malt whiskey content is, but it's, it's really high. It's pleasant nose, uh, interesting taste, silky taste, uh, and then this weird aftertaste. If you like the bitterness, those tannins, then this whiskey is, might be for you, but this one is definitely not for me. I'm sorry about that. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Feel free to share this video with your friends and Happy to see you again here.